Hi everyone and welcome to day 30 of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. My goodness, we are almost at the finish line. But today's prompt is about your favourite card and why. Is it the artwork? Is it the meaning? Is it both? And I had to think about that because I don't have a favourite. I have a number of favourites. So to narrow down... I would have to say that I feel a very strong connection to the Hermit card and I love the artwork and the meaning behind it. Also the Temperance and the Magician. I think very much about the meaning behind it and bringing the elements together. But all of them really, I mean the artwork's generally beautiful for all of those cards. But the card that I am nominating for my favourite tonight, because it has more than one meaning to me, it goes beyond tarot, and that is the star card. I think this is one card that I can honestly say I've never come across a star card that I didn't like with regards to the artwork. The star card never lets me down as far as the artwork goes. This is a card of promise. It calls for the querent to have faith, to be optimistic, to look towards the new, even despite adversity. When times are tough, look up to that beautiful night sky that's what I tell myself in reality. It clears my head. And you know I love astrology. I love planets. I'm so um, taken by the enormity and the vastness of our solar system and our universe. So for me, I have a bit of a heart connection to that through the star card, especially when I look at images like this. When you're confused, when you can't see a way out, go out and look at the night sky and remember to have hope. This is a card that assists you to find inspiration and move towards it. It reminds us not to focus on the negative. Don't focus on all the disruptions that have just occurred. The tower card has just left the building and left us with all the rubble. And the star card isn't necessarily a solution card. It's a card of waiting. It says, keep your focus on the goal because things will stabilize. Things will renew themselves. So look up and even if the sky is black, those stars provide a glimmer of hope. They provide a little bit of light in the darkness. When you wish upon a star, isn't that what they say? So I really find that this is a special card and it takes me, again, it takes me further, further than simply the deck of cards, which in a way may be breaking the rules a little, but yeah, this is definitely a very meaningful card to me, so I'm nominating this as my favourite. So it is the artwork, but also that meaning behind it of simply have faith. There is promise here. There is inspiration. Please look up or look within. Same thing, macrocosm, microcosm. Find it. Find that inspiration and move forward. You know, sometimes people say, oh, hope, what's the point of hope? You know, that doesn't necessarily bring anything. But I think, well, sure, but if you don't have hope, 
that can be pretty diabolical. If you can't see the forest for the trees, if you can't see that glimmer, that's, that the beauty that comes out of a single star in the night sky, that's a little sad, I think. It's magical. I'm going off on a tangent. It's really late, folks, and I'm tired. But, yeah, this card, it's interesting when you... By just placing a few different cards of the star from different decks, it really does send me to a place that I find very, very calming. And again, it always comes back to that, the universe. You know, it reminds me also to step away from all the chaos. Step back, you know, look up, look out. There's so much more. And this thing that we've been dealing with, say if you look back, go, go a step back to the tower card and everything came tumbling down. But you can get caught in that rubble or you can step back and look up and look out and it assists you to see the bigger picture. Because the star card says, look at the night sky, look how vast it is. There's always so much more. So I think that's what it is for me. That, that promise that I can rebuild no matter what. Even if it takes time, but I can rebuild. So I think that's about it for me on day 30 of 31 Days of Tarot. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow for the last day. Bye for now.